Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 39 on basic statistics. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to compute rank correlation coefficient if ranks are equal or repeated or we have the situation in which we have tie between ranks. In some data, some values of some variable might be repeated more than two or three times. So in those type of situations, our formula for rank correlation has to be modified. We are familiar with this formula for rank correlation. 1 minus 6 times sigma d square divided by n times n square minus 1, where this d is the difference between ranks of two variables. Now if some ranks are equal or repeated, then we have to modify this uh, formula accordingly. So we will discuss in this lecture that uh, how to compute rank correlation coefficient in case of repeated or equal ranks. So for that we consider this uh, example. This question was asked in GTU summer 2020 as well as summer 2021 exam. From the following data of the marks obtained by eight students in computer networking that is simply denoted by CN and complier design that is CD papers compute rank coefficient of correlation. So here we are given marks of n equal to 8 students in these two papers CN and CD and we are asked to find out rank correlation coefficient between the marks in these two papers. So here we are given marks of students in CN and CD. So first we have to assign the ranks to these two variables. Suppose marks in the paper CN are denoted by variable X and marks in the paper CD are denoted by variable Y. So first we will give the rank to the students in both the papers. So for that I have prepared the table. Here I have written the values of X that is marks in CN then marks in CD. Now if you observe that in this values of X this uh, 20 is repeated two times. Similarly if you observe the marks for this subject CD then 30 marks are repeated three times. There are three students with uh, equal marks 30 and here there are two students with equal marks 20. So if we have repeated number of items then how to give ranks to those items. So for that uh, first we start giving the rank to the marks in CN that is we find out rank for the variable X. So we start with the highest observation if we observe these marks then we can see 80 is the highest value. So we give first rank to this student having 80 marks. After that if we observe second highest value is 60 so we give second rank and then we can see third highest of marks are 40 so that we give as rank number 3. After that we can see that 28 is at fourth position and after that uh, we have this 20 but there is a tie for this uh, 20 because it is repeated two times. So how to give rank to these two uh, marks 20 marks which are repeated. So suppose these two marks were different then they would have occupied fifth and sixth rank. Again I repeat. Suppose these two marks were different, then we would have given them rank number 5 and 6. But because these two are repeated, we will consider arithmetic mean of these two positions and we will give that rank to these two values. Here ranks are repeated at 5th and 6th position. So arithmetic mean of these two positions is 5 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 5.5. So we assign rank 5.5 to 
to these two positions. Now next observation will be if you observe the next highest value, 20 is assigned now. Now this is the next observation, 15. So fifth and sixth positions are occupied by these two values of 20. So now next observation will be given rank 7. After that next value is 12. So that is given the rank 8. So we will follow this pattern if some values of uh, variable are repeated then we will decide the ranks which those values were occupied if they were different and then we will take the arithmetic mean of those ranks. Here if these two observations were different then they would have occupied fifth and sixth ranks. And because this is repeated two times, we consider arithmetic mean of 5 and 6. So we consider 5 plus 6 by 2, that is 5.5. And we assign rank 5.5 to this uh, marks 20. Now next observation will be assigned next rank. Here fifth and sixth ranks will be considered in these two positions. Now next rank comes is uh, 7. So we will consider 7 as next rank. Same thing we can do for values of y. So first we start searching for highest value of y. So highest value of y is 6, 0 that we give first rank. After that we can see 50 is the second highest marks in the y series. After that 40 comes at third position. And then we can observe that this 30 is repeated and it is repeated three times and ranks given before 30 are 3, 2 and 1. So if 30 was not repeated, it would have occupied fourth position. Now it is repeated three times. So these three positions are occupied by 30, 4, 5 and 6 and 30 is repeated three times. So we consider arithmetic mean of these three positions. Four, 5 and 6. So there are 3 positions 4, 5, 6. So we divide by 3. Arithmetic mean of 4, 5, 6 means we have to add 4, 5, 6 and we have to divide by 3. So this is going to be 15 divided by 3. So we will assign rank 5 to these uh, 3 students which are having equal marks 30. And uh, these three repeated values are occupied four, fifth, and sixth ranks. So next uh, highest value will be given rank seven. So now we search for next highest value. It is twenty. So we assign rank seven to twenty, and we assign rank eight to lowest uh, uh, marks. That is ten. So here. In Y series, 30 is repeated 3 times. So we are considering arithmetic mean of 4, 5 and 6 and that is 5 and we assign rank 5 to these 3 students which are having equal marks. So in this way, if we have some items are repeated, then we should assign ranks in this way. We will remember that we will take arithmetic mean of ranks which these observations would have occupied if they were different. Now once we find out the ranks, remaining things are easy. We just have to take the differences between ranks and then we will square the differences and we will find out rank correlation coefficient. So here first we find out the differences 7 minus 3 that is 4, 5.5 minus 5 that is 0 0.5, 4 minus 2 which is 2, 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 minus 7 is minus 4, 2 minus 8 minus 6, 5.5 minus 5 that is 0 0.5 and we can check whether we have 
correctly done this or not we can sum all these differences and we can see uh, here if we take negative values 4 and 6 then that sum is minus 10 so remaining values must be equal to 10 so here 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 and plus 4 that is 10 so we can see that sum of all the differences is 0 here I forget to write down this but it will not affect because its value is 0 now we take uh, square of all this square of 4 is 16 then 0.25 4 9 square of 4 is minus 4 is 16 square of minus 6 is 36 square of 0.5 is 0 0.25 and 0 and if we take sum of all these d square values it is 81.5 okay, so that we have done sigma d square is 81.5 now uh, if uh, ranks are repeated then th we have to modify or we have to correct the formula for rank correlation coefficient also so what will be the modification in this formula m into n into n square minus 1 where n is the number of observations so if we have repeated ranks or tied uh, ranks then uh, we have to modify this uh, factor we have to modify this quantity in the formula for rank correlation coefficient so what will be the modification so for each repeated item here we have two repeated items 20 and 30 suppose we consider m is the number of times item is repeated then 20 is repeated two times 30 is repeated three times so we have to add correction factor or it is known as adjustment factor 2 sigma d square for each repeated item and that correction factor is given by m into m square minus 1 divided by 12 so correction factor or adjustment factor corresponding to this item 20 is obtained by taking m equal to 2 in this formula so that is going to be 2 into 2 square minus 1 divided by 12 so this is nothing but 2 into 3 divided by 12 that is 1 by 2 similarly correction factor corresponding to this repeated item 30 for this repeated item value of m is 3 that is number of times it is repeated so we find out value of this quantity for m equal to 3 so we have 3 times 3 square minus 1 divided by 12 so 3 times 9 minus 1 that is 8 divided by 12 that is 24 divided by 12 which is 2 so if uh, we have repeated or equal ranks we have to add correction factor to sigma d square and that correction factor we have to remember that it is given by this uh, formula m times m square minus 1 divided by 12 where m is the number of times an item is repeated and this we have to do for each repeated item for both the variables so this is for variable x that is marks in computer network this is for variable y that is marks in cd paper so we have to add these two quantities 1 by 2 and 2 here so instead of writing sigma d square we will write sigma d square plus 1 by 2 plus 2 so that will be the correct rank correlation formula in case of repeated ranks okay, so now uh, i think we have understood the method so we can compute the rank correlation coefficient by adding this adjustment factor to sigma d square so rank correlation 
coefficient is r suffix x equal to 1 minus here we write n into n square minus 1 and 6 times sigma d square plus adjustment factor or correction factor corresponding to this item 20 which is repeated 2 times is 1 by 2 so we add 1 by 2 similarly adjustment factor for this item 30 which is repeated 3 times is 2 so here we write 2 now we substitute values of sigma d square and n sigma d square we have obtained it is 81.5 and value of n is 8 there are n equal to 8 students so we consider sigma d square equal to 81.5 and this is going to be 1 plus 4 that is 5 by 2 here n equal to 8 and 8 square that is 64 minus 1 which is 63 so if we simplify this this uh, total in the numerator turns out to be 504 and this product is also 504 so we obtain that rank correlation coefficient for given bivariate data is 0 r suffix s is 0 so in this way we can compute rank correlation coefficient in the case of repeated ranks so we will remember all these things that while assigning ranks to given values of attribute sometimes there might be repeated ranks so in this case common ranks are assigned to the repeated items these common ranks are the arithmetic mean of the ranks which these items would have got if they were different from each other and the next item will get the rank next to the rank used in computing the common rank and as a result of this following adjustment or correction is made in the rank formula in the formula we add the factor m times m square minus 1 by 12 to sigma d square where m is the number of times an item is repeated this correction factor is to be added for each repeated value in both the x series as well as y series okay, so this is the question which we have discussed to understand that how to compute rank correlation coefficient if ranks are equal or repeated so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much